what are people how's it going this is Bharat here in this video I was thinking of talking about what are data tables in flutter and how it is very useful for creating faster tables uh, we'll go straight and see what is that and how to create that what are the important properties that are part of this data table widget and a lot more in this video stay tuned all right so the important part to create a data table is the data table widget itself it has the class data table I've created a sample kind of a sample important uh, template here so we can just go ahead and create this data table and see what it is and implement what it is go ahead and straight type the child and the widget is called as data table once you do that it asks for two important required columns the first is the columns and the rows so even before you jump into what are columns and rows it is as simple as that so there's going to be column there's going to be row but the columns is going to be a part of a data column widget and the row is going to take data row widget so we cannot go ahead and create this columns directly we need to have a list of data row data column so just have to make it a list here and type in data column all right so once you do that it asks for a label so the label is nothing but the heading that is the column of the data where the table should be and we can just go ahead and create say a text and say column one do the same thing let's create let's create another column let's call it column two and that is it so we've just created a simple column and uh, we actually have uh, nothing but empty rows important important thing to concentrate on is that so we have a column one and we have a column two so how do you create these rows we cannot directly say that the column one we cannot map it for every row so the columns are again going to be a list of rows sorry list of data rows which is again going to be like this so we have to create a data row and the cells are going to be list by themselves it might be a bit confusing but i'll just make it as simple as possible so there's going to be a row here at the top and there's going to be columns the columns which are actually horizontal and every row is going to be vertical so since we have we can have multiple rows we have a list of rows but inside the row there are going to be a lot of cells that's going to be as same as the column so we have to make sure that the cells are also a list we have we can actually go ahead and type anything we want to type here it can be maybe a uh, text i can say same for this as well row to set no it's a row one but cell two all right so let's not just go ahead and confuse us ourselves as to what this is we have we can actually run this and see what actually comes up and then we can talk about all the other important properties that this data table has i actually have a simulator running i'll just go ahead and run this we can uh, wait and see what this shows up actually even before we do all that we can actually make some changes to the background maybe i don't want it to look very shabby i'll just create uh, sorry should be scaffold should have a background color should be color color start red accent okay great great did you see what happened did you see the column actually showing up and the rows actually showing up we'll just do this we'll do a quick reload for this as well it's just coming up let's just run this all right so you have it there the column one is here the column two is here the row one cell one and the row one cell two so each individual row should be defined that way now again so this is a list of row we have a data row as given here we just put a comma here and go ahead and create the same meaning put this here um, we can just call this row 2 let's do a hot reload see that that's what happens so 
I hope this is clear. This concept is clear. You can see what it is to create this data table. What are the two other important attributes when it comes to data table? We just see this that in that now. Uh, rows end here. Okay. Okay. We are going to see about short column index. So we have to give any column as a call it as a um, key column meaning that whichever we, if you needed to be sorted in the future or if you need to pull out some data from this table this table is actually like a data table itself so if you need to pull some data from this table we can actually use this column index as the key and it's going to take it take as an int value only so since we have only two columns we'll just give it as one let the, let the first column be the key and now we're going to say sort ascending as true First of all, when you do this, it's going to be sorted. I just set the column as zero and I'm going to set it to true now. By default, it's going to be false. I just set it to true. And as you can see, there's a pointer that says that it's sorted top to bottom. And uh, you can actually switch it out to false to make it as bottom up. Did you see the difference? So that's how the rows are going to be sorted. So you can just call the column one, which is actually zero in terms of arrays. So zero is going to be the first column. And uh, you can actually give, give it as a key and make sure that it is sorted. You can actually make it as one here, or two here, it's already in sort order, but still. All right, so that is it. So we have just seen the four important attributes that are part of the data table. And uh, the concept behind using data table is to make the uh, entire representation of data in a table faster and easier for uh, Flutter. Flutter is actually going to do, the Flutter calls this as actually uh, maybe a particularly uh, difficult Thing to render on the device because if you know flutter it's going to be rendering on the same same thing on the web as well there's going to be a lot of this one one code for every environment is making it a bit difficult for rendering certain which it's difficult and uh, flutter actually calls if there is going to be a lot of data to be represented in table to go for a paginated data table it is nothing but it's going to show everything as a page and it's faster to render as well so that is what the flutter team or the flutter doc actually recommends but data table is a very sh short and easy thing to do in terms of representing a simple data on the flutter app all right guys i hope this video is informative i just made it very very fast and I, as, as clear as possible because that is uh, this concept of data tables is actually important which you're constructing uh, or representing data in a flutter app uh, i've just not tested this for flutter web uh, because I've st it's, it's still very new if you haven't checked out what is flutter for web you can check out uh, check it out it's coming up on the right up corner and uh, yeah that is it so if you like this video you know what to do hit the like and share but uh, even before that subscribe uh, that's it from me guys peace out